And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore. All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th. It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets. You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me. You can also wear this dress with a belt as I did right here and it will still look amazing. So you're someone I used to know, but nobody said it be easy. But maybe I should have known. So these are all the items that you're going to need for this project. You're going to need some scissors, you're going to need your matching thread, some pins, pencil or a marker, tape measure pattern paper, your main fabric, cup ruler, straight ruler and you're also going to need a bodice pattern and if you would like to know how to make one I have a video already on my channel or I'll link it down below. First step we're going to take a pattern paper and then we're going to take our front bodice and we're going to be placing it right at the edge of the pattern paper then we are going to trace around the neckline shoulder armhole and we're going to stop at the bust line so this is how our bodice pattern should look after we've traced around next we're going to be taking our tape measure and we're going to be marking our shoulder to under bust measurement and mine is 13 inches so you're going to be you get you get this by measuring from your shoulder to your under bust and then you're going to mark and then you will draw a straight line and this is how it looks like after you've already marked your shoulder to under bust after that we are going to be adding half an inch allowance to our armhole and if you've already added allowance then you don't have to and I'm not going to add to my shoulder line because I've already done so on the previous pattern but if you haven't added allowance on your shoulder please add allowance as well. So now I'm going to be adding allowance on the side and I'm going to make it one inch bigger and this is because I want this to be loose. And now we're going to be marking this as our front bodies and we're going to be cutting this on a fold. And lastly for the front bodies we're going to be adding half an inch allowance to the bottom and then we're going to mark and we're going to cut this out. Next we're going to be taking another pattern paper and we're going to take our back piece and we're going to be tracing it around but before we do that I'm going to be drawing a line that is one inch away from the edge of the fabric and this is because we're going to be leaving a little opening at the back. Next we're going to be taking our back bodies and we're going to place it on the one inch mark line that we made. Then we're going to trace around and we're going to be stopping at the bust line just like we did for the front piece. After we've traced around our back bodies, next we're going to be measuring our shoulder to under bust measurement just like we did for the front and mine was 13 inches so I'm going to mark 13 inches from my shoulder. So now we're going to be adding allowance to our back bodies and we're going to add half an inch to our armhole. We're going to add one inch to the sides and we're going to add half an inch to the bottom just like we did for the front. So after I've added the allowance I'm going to mark this as my back bodies and we're going to be cutting two pieces out of this so I'm going to indicate that and this is unlike the front piece where we cut it on a fold this one we're not going to be cutting it on a fold instead we're going to cut two pieces 
and the last step is going to be cutting our bodice pattern out so this is how our baby doll dress bodice pattern should look after we've cut them out this is our front bodies and we are going to be cutting it on a fold and for our back bodies we are going to be cutting two pieces so now we're going to be cutting our pattern on fabric and we're going to fold our fabric in half so now we're going to be taking our pattern paper and we'll start with our front bodies and we're going to place it on a fold on our fabric and then we're going to take our back bodies and we're going to place it on the pattern paper but not on the fold line because we're going to be cutting two pieces out of this and after you've placed your pattern you're going to go ahead and cut so this is how our pattern should look after we've cut them out on fabric and this is our back bodies and as you can see it's already cut into two pieces so now we are going to be working on our bodies back so i'm going to take the front out this is the front and then we are going to be working only on our back bodies on our back bodies this is the center line for our back and it's already cut into two pieces like I showed you before next we're going to be marking about five inches down from our neckline and this is going to be the opening for our back and then we're going to take some pins and we're going to pin from that mark that we made all the way down and now we're going to be sewing from here all the way to the mark that we made and that's where we're going to stop after sewing our back piece I'm going to open this up and as you can see I went ahead and ironed the seam flat next we are going to be folding our seam in half an inch like so and then we are going to be ironing it flat so this is how our piece should look after we've already ironed flat the seams next we are going to be taking our marker and we are going to mark that little end right there because that's going to be our opening for the back and then we are going to sew from this side all the way to that mark that we made and to the other side as well so we are going to be sewing down this way all the way to that mark and when we get there we are going to turn our fabric and sew across and then we are going to sew the other side. So this is how our top should look like after we have already sewn the ends together as you can see. So next we are going to be sewing the two sides so that they don't unravel and we are going to be sewing it like this. So you are going to take that end. And remember we are not sewing it like we did for the opening we are going to just sew the side only without without catching the other fabric I don't know if you can see but maybe you'll understand when I'm sewing like I'm not really touching the other fabric and I'm sewing right at the end of the fabric after that we are now going to be turning our back piece to the right side and then we are going to be taking our front bodies and we are going to place it with the right sides facing each other and after that we are going to pin and sew at the shoulder at the side and we are going to repeat the same on the other side and we are going to be sewing with a half an inch sewing allowance after we've sewed already at the shoulder and at the sides we are now going to be turning this inside out. So next we are going to be making our neckties and we are going to be taking our tape measure and we are going to measure all around the neckline. And I got 20.2 as my neckline measurement. So after you've measured your neckline, Whatever you got, you're going to be multiplying that by 2. Like for me, mine was 20.2 multiply by 2. Then I'm going to get 40.4. 
and then I'm going to get a piece or cut a piece that is 40.4 inches long and 4 inches wide so I've already cut my piece and it's about 40.4 inches long and the width is going to be 4 inches wide next we are going to be folding this tie in half and we are going to iron it flat after I ironed I went ahead also and ironed half an inch in at the edges like so as you can see so please go ahead and do this before you continue then we are going to be folding this in half and then we are going to be marking the midpoint of it with a marker so after we've marked our midpoint we are now going to be marking our neck measurements and mine was 20.2 divided by 2 which gives me 10.1 so I'm going to be marking 10.1 from the midpoint on both sides so now after I've marked the points and this is the 10.1 mark the midpoint and the other 10.1 mark next i'm going to be adding like half an inch on that 10.1 mark and you will see why later and i'm going to be doing that on the other mark as well like so and then we are going to be taking the two ends and we're going to be matching up the marks that we made on the edge then we are going to pin and sew until the marks that we made okay and after you've pinched right to the mark then you're going to sew all the way and we're going to be doing that with a half an inch sewing allowance after sewing we are now going to be trimming down the excess allowance Then after you've trimmed down the ends, we are going to be turning this inside out. And this is how our tie ends should look after you're done. So now we are going to be sewing our neckties to our dress and as you can see there is a part that was open when we sewed the ties. So now we are going to take our tie and we are going to match the midpoint that we made to our middle of our dress and then we are going to pin it all around okay and we are going to be pinning one side. And if you look closely, I'm going to open the half inch that I had ironed before and I'm going to place it right in the middle of our bodies and then I'm going to pin. So this is how it should look like after we've already pinned. So we are going to be sewing all around with a half inch sewing allowance. So now we're going to be folding over our neckties, the one that we haven't sewed, and we're going to fold it in like this. And this is actually on the right side. So we're going to fold it in and we're going to be covering those seams that we made when we attach the neckline to our neckties. And then we are going to be pinning all around and we are going to be stitching in a ditch. This is the right side that I've pinned on the right side and we are going to be sewing in a ditch. Okay? We are going to be sewing in a ditch. To get our sleeve measurement, we are going to be measuring around our armhole and whatever we get, we are going to be multiplying that by 2. So the length of our sleeve will be our armhole measurement multiplied by 2. Like mine is 29 inches multiplied by 2 which gives me 43.5 inches and the width is going to be 6.5 inches and you can use 6.5 inches as well. So now we are going to be working on our sleeves and I've already cut them out on fabric and this is sleeve 1 and that is sleeve 2 and the length for my sleeve is 43.5 inches and the width is 6.5 inches. 
So I've folded my sleeve in half and this is the cut edge and this is the fold. So we are going to be working on the cut edge and we are going to be drawing a curve. So I'm going to be taking my tape measure and then I'm going to mark 1.5 inches down from this edge. Next I'm going to be taking my curved ruler and I'm going to be drawing a curved line from the edge of the fold line all the way to the 1.5 mark. And this is what you should have after you've drawn the curve. Next I'm going to take my other sleeve and I'm going to be placing it at the bottom and then I'm going to take this other sleeve that I've already carved, the sleeve one, then I'm going to place it on top of the other sleeve and then match the edges together and then I'm going to pin and I'm going to cut it out. This is what you should have after you've already cut it out. Next we will open our sleeve and then we are going to be hemming the bottom of our sleeve and that is the curved side and we are going to be hemming by folding in half an inch twice and then we are going to sew and then you are going to repeat the same thing on the other sleeve. After hemming, we are now going to be sewing two long stitches to be able to gather our fabric and we are going to do it on the two sleeves. After I did a long stitch for gathering for the sleeve, I'm now going to measure around my armhole and whatever measurement I get, that's what I'm going to be gathering. So mine is like 29 inches. I'm going to add one inch for sewing allowance so it will be 30. Then I'm going to gather my fabric up to 30 inches. And as you can see here, I've already gathered my sleeve up to 30 inches. Next, I'm going to take the two ends together and I'm going to be pinning them and then I'm going to sew with a half an inch sewing allowance. So now I'm going to be attaching my sleeve to my bodice and I'm going to be taking my bodice and my bodice is actually on the right side and then I'm going to take my sleeve and I'm going to place the right side facing the right side of my bodice and then I'm going to pin and sew with a half inch sewing allowance. And I forgot to mention that you're going to be matching up the seams for the sleeve and for the bodice together and sew. So now we are going to be making the skirt for our dress and we are going to be making a two tired skirt and the first skirt tire the length is going to be the body's waist measurement multiplied by 1.5 and mine is 40 inches multiplied by 1.5 which gives me 60 inches and the width is going to be the measurement from our underbust to the preferred length known as 8 inches and note the 8 inches is the length of our second tire skirt which is going to be a bit shorter than the first skirt. And my underbust to preferred length is 21 inches minus 8 inches which gives me 13 inches plus 1 inch allowance which will give me 14 inches. And that is going to be the width of my first skirt. For the second tire, the length is going to be the body's measurement multiplied by 2. Mine is 40 inches multiplied by 2 which gives me 80 inches. And the width is going to be 8 inches plus 1.5 inches allowance which will give me 9.5 inches. And sorry I wrote 1 inch allowance instead of 1.5 inches. I've already cut the skirt pieces and I've labeled them as skirt 1 and skirt 2. The skirt 1 length is 60 inches and the width is 14 inches. The second skirt length is 80 inches and the width is 9.5 inches. Next step, 
we are going to take our skirt too which is the bottom of our skirt and we are going to be hemming it and we are going to be doing that by folding it in half an inch twice and then we are going to sew So next we are going to be sewing gathers for our skirt and we are going to be sewing two long stitches on both skirts. So now we are going to be making gathers for the skirt and we are going to take our tape measure and we are going to be measuring the bodies all around before we gather. For me, when I measured around, I got 28 inches, so I'm going to be gathering my fabric to 28 inches plus 1 inch for sewing allowance. We are going to be gathering the same exact way we did before. After we've gathered our skirt, this is the skirt one, okay, as you can see, and I'm going to be placing it on the right side. Then I'm going to take skirt 2 which is the bottom of the skirt and I'm going to place the gathers at the bottom of skirt 1 like so and I'm going to be placing it on the right sides facing each other so the wrong side should be facing you and then we are going to sew with a half inch sewing allowance. After sewing the two skirts together I went ahead and overlocked the seams together and this is going to stop the skirt from fraying and if you don't have an overlocker you can go ahead and use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Next I'm going to be putting the two ends together with the right sides facing each other and then I'm going to pin and sew with a half inch sewing allowance. After sewing I went ahead and overlocked the edges. So next, we are going to be attaching our skirt to the top and we are going to do that by placing our skirt to the top with the right sides facing each other and then we are going to pin and sew. And guys, make sure that you match up the skirt seam together with the back seam. And the last step, we are going to be sewing with a half inch sewing allowance. This is the final look of the dress. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye and God bless.